In this video, we're going to go over the ins and outs of importing a vehicle into Nicaragua. If you're looking to import a vehicle, you will want to obtain residency first, since there are vehicle tax exemptions for residents. Recently, the tax exemption changed from 25 to 13,000. This is a major change that may affect your plans of importation. With taxes being 20 to 40% of the vehicle value, this change might be a game changer. Your vehicle's value can vary day to day and person to person. A customs officer will look at your vehicle's condition and if it has any modifications such as light bars, custom wheels, rooftop tent, and make an evaluation of the vehicle. The customs officer will determine the vehicle value. Now it's time to do some math. Take a look at this example to see what your import fees might look like. But remember, your vehicle value in Nicaragua will be much higher than it is in Canada or the U.S. and could be as much as 50% higher. If you choose to fly and buy, you can buy a vehicle right away as a non-resident. There's no waiting for residency or time to import. Buying locally, you can buy any vehicle you like, and you're sure to find something that will fit your budget. There's no requirement to buy something seven years or newer. There's no surprises with customs at the border. When buying as a non-resident of Nicaragua, the vehicle title will not be able to be in your name. This is totally normal in that country. The title will likely be in the past owner's name or a friend of yours or even your lawyer. You will want to use a lawyer to do the paperwork for you. You can also get a special power of attorney done if you want to drive the vehicle out of the country. Otherwise, you can't leave Nicaragua with the vehicle. If you drive, you can import your vehicle using a temporary import permit. Before your tip expires, you will need to do a border run. This means leaving the country with your vehicle. In Nicaragua, the closest and easiest border run is just to pop on down to Costa Rica. You can return to Nicaragua and repeat this process as often as needed. We were planning to import a 2014 Toyota 4Runner, but after extensive research, we've decided to drive our 2009 Ford Escape down from Canada. Once we arrive and get settled, we will be buying an older used vehicle locally, either a Toyota Hilux or a Prada. We hope that this video will help you decide if importing a vehicle is right for you. Let us know in the comments and check out some of our previous videos and stay tuned for future content as we embark in an adventure of a lifetime. We're becoming expats and moving to Nicaragua.